The AH-64E attack helicopter is the latest version of the AH-64, used by the US Army. It is also known as Apache Guardian. Until 2012 it was designated as AH-64D Block 3. It has a number of improvements and upgrades, including more powerful engines, upgraded transmission and other improvements. This gunship might be also fitted with updated longbow fire control radar. Deliveries to the U.S. Army began in 2011. At the time the U.S. Army planned to refurbish and upgrade a total of 634 AH-64D helicopters to AH-64E standard. It was planned that another 56 helicopters will be newly built. In 2017 a multi-year contract was signed which included 224 remanufactured helicopters for the U.S. Army. In 2023 another contract was signed to deliver another 115 remanufactured helicopters for the U.S. Army. This attack helicopter has been approved for export. In 2014 Iraq ordered 24 of these helicopters, but later cancelled this order. In 2015 the United Kingdom has requested to remanufacture 50 of its WAH-64D Apache Longbow helicopters of this latest AH-64E standard. Export operators are India, Saudi Arabia, and Taiwan. India ordered 22 of these gunships. Deliveries commenced in 2019. Also this helicopter has been ordered by other countries. Indonesia ordered eight of these gunships, Qatar 24, South Korea 36, and the United Arab Emirates 30. In 2023 a contract was awarded to produce 69 helicopters for international customers, including Australia. This helicopter is fitted with more powerful General Electric T700 GE 701D engines, developing one 994 shop instead on the 1800 shop on the previous versions. Also it has upgraded transmission to coupe with extra power. The AH-64E has new composite rotor blades. These are designed to withstand hits from 23mm anti-aircraft guns. Maximum speed of this helicopter is up to 300 km per hour. This gunship comes with new sensors, avionics, and has improved night operation capabilities. Furthermore the AH-64E helicopter can control a couple of UAVs. This attack helicopter is operated by a crew of two, including pilot and gunner. There are numerous features to protect the crew and increase survivability of the helicopter. The airframe is designed to withstand hits from guns of up to 12.7mm caliber. Rotor blades can withstand hits from 23mm guns. A large flat plate canopy is fitted with Buran armor. Crew members are seated on crash-resistant seats. The AH-64E has infrared suppressing exhaust system and is equipped with chaff and flare dispensers. Boda of these features combined reduce the chance of being hit by enemy air defense missiles. Both crew members use various sophisticated sensors and systems for the detection and attack of targets. Their helmets have an integrated helmet sighting system. The AH-64E comes with a 30mm M230 cannon with 1-200 rounds of ammunition. It has four hardpoint on stub wings and can carry various missiles. Armament is being tailored, depending on mission requirements. The AH-64E can carry up to 16 AGM-114 or Hellfire II anti-tank guided missiles. For self-defense against hostile helicopters the Apache Guardian can carry up to two AIM-9 Sidewinder, four AIM-92 Stinger, or four Mistral air-to-air -air missiles. It can also carry two AGM-122 sidearm air-to-ground anti-radiation missiles, that can target hostile radars. The gunship is often equipped with 19-shot pods with Hydra 70 unguided rockets. The helicopter can carry up to four of these pods. This attack helicopter might be fitted with a longbow fire control radar, which is also used on the previous AH-64D variant. It gives the capability to fire AGM-114 or Hellfire-2 anti-tank guided missiles in fire-and-forget mode. 
Without this radar the Hellfire 2 missiles are launched in the line of sight manner. The radar can detect, classify and prioritize 12 targets simultaneously, and can see through the fog and smoke, that foils infrared or TV sensors.